Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Flutter on your system. Also, I'm going to show you how to create and run Flutter application using Android. So let's start the video. So guys, before starting actual video, let me just tell you what are the things required for running your Flutter application. So guys, for running Flutter application, you require what Flutter SDK. Okay, so after downloading Flutter application, we will be setting the path of Flutter in environmental variable. That is the second step. After that, we will be downloading what Android Studio and then in Android Studio, we will be downloading command line tools. Okay. And after that, in Android Studio, we will be downloading SDK. And after that, the last is what we will be downloading virtual device manager. Okay. So for running your application, you need some virtual devices if you do, if you are not connecting your real phone to it. So these are the steps which we are going to follow. So guys, you have to watch my video till end without missing any of the steps otherwise your application will not run okay, so let's start the video you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for flutter sdk and guys here you can see the search result so docs.flutter.dev you have to go to this site and you have to click on the first uh, link okay install flutter so it will redirect you to docs.flutter.dev website and here you can see different installation app available depending on your operating system you can select so i'm selecting for windows operating system so you need to just click on this windows tab and guys uh, once you click on this windows tab it will redirect you to this page and here it is showing the prerequisite or requirement and guys here we are not having uh, exe file we are having zip file okay so just click on button to uh, download this zip file so this is the stable version which it is showing if you are seeing my video uh, after few months then it may differ okay so I have just click on this button and it has started downloading the zip file so guys for um, installing and setting up flutter in Android studio uh, you require strong internet connection you should have internet connection throughout otherwise um, your application will not be set up properly we require so many things to be downloaded so you should have proper internet connection okay so now here here my zip file has been installed now i am going to extract this zip file so so i am going to the download location and here i am having uh, my uh, zip file i am doing what i am just right clicking on it and here i have option what extract all so just click on this option and here is the destination folder so guys here i am not going to keep my extraction in what uh, downloads folder so i am going to keep it inside c drive you can keep wherever you want okay so i am just giving uh, c colon over here and here i am just checking mark on this option show extracted files when complete so directly it will take me to my c drive folder and click on next button so guys is it will extract your uh, zip file the content will be extracted in c drive and you can see after completion it has taken me to c drive okay guys so you can see it has taken me to c colon flutter now the next step step number two what you have to do you have to set this path into the environmental variable why to set path in environmental variable because we are going to use command prompt and uh, if you don't set path then uh, the flutter command will not be recognized by your command prompt so to avoid that error what we will be doing we will be setting the path so here you can see i'm just starting command prompt and here i'm just typing flutter and guys you can see i'm getting error flutter is not recognized as internal or external command okay so this is the error you get when you don't set the path so let's set the path so for that first of all i will copy the path of bin flutter bin i will go to my c drive in that flutter directory in that bin so just simply copy this path and now guys what you can do you can search env that is uh, environmental variable so here you can see the option edit the environmental variable it is showing okay now guys under advanced tab you need to click on environmental variable and now here we have user variable and system variable i'm using system variable so that it should available to my all user and i'm selecting this path variable and i'm just clicking on edit okay so here 
I am going to paste the path for that. I need to click on new button and just paste the copied path. So C colon flutter bin and click on OK. And then again, guys, you need to click on one more time OK and then one more time OK. So that's all, guys. So the path is set into the environmental variable. Now just go to command prompt once again and type flutter command again. So now, guys, see, I'm not getting error that flutter is not recognized as internal or external command. So my Flutter is set now. Flutter SDK is set now. Now uh, Flutter is having uh, what uh, it's showing me this uh, when you type Flutter it's showing me what different options or menus. So in this uh, there is one very helpful menu known as Flutter Doctor. So this Flutter Doctor is going to show you what uh, uh, different uh, options or requirement which your system is satisfying or what the requirement is not available on your system. So now see I'm just typing flutter uh, doctor and here you can see it's showing me the things which are there on my PC and which are not there on my PC right so now it's showing me that uh, flutter is there windows version is satisfying for android it's showing me the exclamation marks and two cross sign so guys you have to follow this two steps that is command line and license agreement whenever you are setting flutter in mod uh, android studio and the below one you can can see it's showing me what chrome it's showing me other thing also so visual studio also in this video i'm not going to show you about visual studio otherwise the video will become very lengthy i'm going to create a separate video for that flutter setting in visual studio so now uh, it's showing me issues in three category we we'll resolve that issue so now guys we will download what android studio so guys you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for android studio download and guys here you can see the official website you can just click on this link it will redirect you to this page here you can see it's showing me get an official id you need to click on this download button and guys you will see license and agreement page over here just scroll down and click on this checkbox and this button so guys here it's showing me some message i'm going to click on dismiss button and you can see here my download has been started and guys it is going to take time so please wait and guys remember one thing here you need strong internet connection because we need lots of download now to install i'm clicking on this exe let me minimize my browser guys and now here i'm going to click on next button on this welcome screen now here choose component it is showing me android virtual devices so if you want to run your android app your application so you need some devices so if you are not connecting to physical devices then you need to install virtual devices so uh, your application will be run on virtual devices so you need to click on next button by checking this install virtual devices and guys here it's showing me the installation location this is the path where your Android studio will be installed so you need to just click on this next button and guys here it will be added to start menu folder yes that is okay just click on install button so it will start uh, installing your android studio so again it will take a while so please wait for it okay guys so you can see my installation is done here it's showing me completed i have to click on this next button and now guys here it's showing me android studio has been installed on your computer and the check mark is there that is start the android studio so yes i want to start the android studio we need to click on this finish button okay guys now here you don't need to do anything just click have to select don't send so it is some uh, statistic just click on don't send so guys this is welcome screen of android studio and here you need to click on this next button and now here from the installation type we are going to select standard installation and click on next button this is verify setting so all the information are shown over here like your sdk information your virtual devices information all the information are shown over here so uh, uh, later on uh, your uh, sdk as well as virtual devices will be installed so just click 
on next button and here we have to uh, agree the licenses and click on accept button unless you select and be getting finish button so now click on finish button guys so now it is downloading what my virtual devices so hence i'm saying you need strong connection we required installation of three things like android studio installation and then installation of virtual devices and installation of sdk done now my installation of android virtual devices is done so here it's showing me uh, this information i need to just click on this finish button okay so guys after this it is showing me this studio welcome to android studio and here we have option for projects plug now i am going to my command prompt again and guys i will check again uh, what flutter doctor command so now here you can see it showing me what uh, issues found in two categories so uh, command line and android license status unknown so command line tools are missing so uh, for this you have to install one sdk command line tools so that you can do uh, from uh, using commands or you can do through this studio also so just go here click on the click on sdk manager and guys here there is a tab known as sdk tools if you don't see this option you uh, you can just make sure that this hide obsolete package is checked okay so sdk tool you can just um, go to that tab and here you can see android sdk command line just select that and click on ok button and here it will uh, show you uh, that confirmation page yes click on again ok button right so now here the installation has been started and guys this is done i'll just click on the finish button okay so command line tool is done we'll check again through doctor so flutter doctor and now guys you can see here it's showing me what only one problem with android studio so let's resolve that problem also so we have to accept some uh, license okay so for that whatever command has been shown just copy the command flutter space doctor space hyphen hyphen android space licenses so this is going to agree all the license over here so a total five type of license will come uh, then we have have to press why every time so five of seven sdk licenses not accepted so uh, yes just uh, press y key uh, whenever it is asking yes yes again yes press y key so yes one more time okay so guys all sdk packages license have been accepted so you know we have resolved the issue of uh, what uh, android studio so i'm running flutter doctor command again boom guys my um, Android Studio problem is resolved now and I am doing setting for Android Studio so uh, it's okay for a Visual Studio if it is showing any warning or issue right so now uh, what we'll do we will go to uh, uh, Android Studio and we will create project and we will run the project so you can create project from command line also by using flutter create command but i'm not showing through command line i'm just going to android studio and i'm going to show you through that okay so let's go to android studio and guys here you can see i don't have any command for creating flutter project right so for that we need to install a plugin you can see here we have a button a new project open get from vcs but we don't have button for flutter project so we will be installing plugin so from this tab you can click on this plugins okay so just click on this plugin and guys here you can uh, search in the marketplace as flutter and you can see i don't have flutter install so just click on this install button right so along with flutter dart is also installed you don't have to install dart uh, separately so guys it, it will install flutter as well as dart so you can see now it's showing me restart the id okay so let's restart the id so that the changes uh, should get reflected okay so click on this restart id button 
and guys now my id has been restarted and here you can see now i'm getting what another button new flutter project okay that's what we wanted so now click on this new flutter project because we wanted to create flutter project now guys here you can see it's showing me different project details so we have new project empty project and other option also flutter dart and so many so i'm going to select what flutter option over here because we are interested in creating what flutter application and now guys here you can see it's asking me flutter sdk path so we have uh, extracted our this um, flutter file in c drive flutter folder so you know to just give that folder you don't have to provide what path up to bin just um, write or paste what c colon flutter so it will determine what your sdk path right and then click on the next button and now guys here it is asking me the several details so we have to enter all this details so here you need to give your project name mostly in uh, flutter project the project names are in small case so you can just give your uh, project name over here now here another thing is what project location so wherever you want to save your project you can uh, give that location by clicking on this dots so i'm just taking my uh, d drive and inside that i'm taking the cs corner folder and clicking on okay button and this is the description of the project if you wish to change change i'm keeping the default one and from the project type i'm going to create what application not plugin module and all that and here we have to provide the organization name so uh, you can keep default one i'm just giving com.cs corner and here it's showing me languages also so kotlin will be language for android application it's uh, showing me platform so uh, for what platform you would like to create this flutter project so would like to create for android ios and for web okay so it will create three different uh, project uh, three different uh, what plat platform project so whatever you need uh, or required for you you can just check it i'm just checking this three one and then guys i'm going to click on this create button okay so now it's showing me creating flutter project and guys here you can see my flutter project.